pandemic has been a boom for food delivery services like Grubhub and DoorDash. Tomorrow, the Portland City Council is going to consider capping fees that those services can charge restaurants. We wanted to know what local restaurant owners think about the proposal. Our Wayne Haverly has been talking with them. He joins us live in downtown Portland tonight. Hey, Wayne. Hey there, you know these uh, delivery services, they used to be a, a pretty small part of these uh, businesses down here in uh, downtown Portland as far as their business. But everything changed with the pandemic and uh, now it's one of the biggest parts of their vi uh, their businesses. But when you uh, look around, it's not just the pandemic, the riots as well. I mean, down here, a lot of people are simply avoiding the downtown streets. Portland Kettle has served up hearty soups downtown for five years. Gail Osling and her husband Ian honed their culinary skills at restaurants they owned in Las Vegas before falling in love with downtown Portland. Business was booming here until the pandemic. Practically all of the businesses closed down around us. They um, had them work from home, you know, or whatever they decided to do with their specific businesses, which were our customers. Now at least 70% of their business comes from third-party delivery services. Some, including Grubhub, charge them 30% from each order. Customers at home also pay a delivery fee and tips. It adds up. We have a bowl of chicken noodle soup, which is $7.95. And by the time the delivery services get through with all their charges and the tip, you're talking about doubling that, which is rather high for a bowl of chicken noodle soup. The proposed ordinance caps delivery fees to restaurants at 10%. A spokesperson for Grubhub released a statement saying in part, a 10% cap on fees will not only lower order volume to locally owned restaurants, but it will also increase costs for small business owners and raise costs to customers. It's been a uh, complete struggle. The person who drafted the ordinance, Andres Oswill, believes it will help restaurants like Portland Kettle during this difficult time. Grubhub in particular said that if this passes in Portland, they will definitely be seeking legal action. Is that something that the city's prepared for? Absolutely. It's something we've worked closely with the city attorney on. The proposed cap on delivery fees has full support from restaurant owners like Gail and Ian and the owners of over 100 Portland restaurants. And this proposed ordinance is actually the first order of business at the meeting tomorrow morning. It's also important to note that Seattle and San Francisco recently passed very similar ordinances. Back to you.